probably I'd never walk again. Paul Rudat has always been a stubborn kid. I always said he was the kind of kid you could drop off in a strange city and he'd find his way home. <laughs> he's just very resourceful. And Paul always believed he would walk again and made others believe it too. Initially, as a therapist, I absolutely had a little bit of hesitation, but you know, he has a way about him that he talks people into things. And he had a good run there. Yeah. He had a real good run. Three years ago at a high school graduation party, a diving accident left Paul a quadriplegic. Beautiful, nice control. The former champion swimmer for Canandaigua went to Portugal for an experimental surgery last year. They took stem cells from his nose and placed them in his neck in hopes of repairing his spinal cord injury. You know, that was a good step because you controlled it. Slowly, Paul is getting the feeling back in his hands. This one wasn't moving at all. And legs. Last year I went on a road trip to Michigan for the day and uh, I got hot so I put my feet out the window and I could feel the breeze going between the toes. So that's pretty cool. The 22-year-old has been using this special brace to help him get up and go. I don't know, and maybe it has happened, but I don't know of any other quadriplegic that has walked in one of them. While it's a milestone, it's not enough for Paul. I feel really goofy. I feel like I'm wearing like stormtrooper boots. And Paul wants to look down and see his own feet hitting the floor, not the boots on the braces. Paul is getting this therapy twice a week. The rest of the time, he rides a special bike. He also swims at the Y, lifts weights, and even drives his own car. He is driving down to Atlanta again for months of intensive therapy at the Shepherd Center. There's actually only two centers in the whole United States that receive the patients that have had the surgery from Portugal. Um, and they just, they really know what they're doing. They Paul doesn't ask why this happened to him. His resourcefulness tells him there is a reason. I'm creative and I don't like my hand controls in my car. And I want to ride a dirt bike and I'm stubborn and I'll come up with things and help everyone else out in my shoes who wants to do it. For Healthy Living, I'm Diana Pilatus.